Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Power Wash Simulator. It's been a few weeks since I've played this and I, I saw there's just been an update. Uh, it was over a gigabyte, so I'm pretty sure there's some new levels and stuff. Uh, first off, I'm seeing there's a challenge mode. Wash against the clock or a water limit. Uh, any new specials? No. Anyway, we'll head to career mode, but let me know if you want me to try the challenge mode. And if you're happy this series is back, please boost that like button guys. Help a fellow engineer out. Ah, so we got two new levels. The treehouse. 1500 quid i'm not sure i'm ready to jump in at the deep end and try that yet we've also got the recreation vehicle uh, so let's let's ease ourselves back in right and here we are we've I, i'm noticing a few differences it looks like the old cleaning thing is different 0.5 liters i don't think it was in liters before uh, and also bottom right we now have prone <laughs> yes i am a slug man I am a slug man. Uh, anyway, right. So we've we've got the the long extension arm. Um, rather than starting with my trusty friend the yellow, I'm going to I'm going to go straight ahead with the white. The white is the weakest of power hoses. Uh, oh yeah, okay. Oh, I was a bit worried coming back into this game, but it is still satisfying. Something I'm noticing though, which isn't great, rust. Rust is an absolute bull ache in this game. Uh, so what if we go to the yellow? Look how long it takes to get off, it's so annoying. Yeah, but I think I'm going to stick with the yellow, because the yellow gets like the tough grime off. Can you see like on this window? And it popped. I have missed that pop sound. But anyway, new tactic this time. We're going to stick with the white, and then we're going to come back with the cleaner and have a go. Because I've got far too much money. I've got three grand, and not a lot to spend it on. Ooh, actually, actually, if we head to the shop. So in my previous videos, we, we went through the light duty. We, I think we skipped the medium duty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we haven't bought that one yet. We went straight to the heavy duty owned. So this update should have a... Oh, no, there's no professional duty. Never mind. As we were. Oh man, this works really... I can go really quick, actually. Fair play. Look at this. I'm flying. All right, so you can see the white one. It, it hasn't done the best of jobs. There's still quite a lot of rust and proper grime. So usually the yellow gets rid of like... Can you see like these bits? The yellow is pretty good at that, usually. Like, the glass, you can just fly through that, and it's done. Now, as you saw earlier, rust is a pain. So I'm going to go head back to the shop, and I'm going to use the metal cleaner. And we can buy we can buy all of them. So there's only three, and then we're out of stock. So I think that's a change. Previously, there was no limit. You could literally just spend all of your money. So if I put the metal cleaner in... I don't know if, if like, the painted bits of metal is going to count as metal, but we'll see. Oh, that does blast through. Yeah, so it's okay. I st I'm really not a fan of the soap if i'm honest i feel like it's a bit of a waste it goes down far too quickly as well like i've barely touched this side and we've used like a third of it so i'm just going to go back to trusty yellow so you can see the yellow is good that done mirror duh. i was about to say done is it done get under there i think we might have to try and get the top of the mirror we're gonna have to climb up on the rv to get the top of the mirror this door is nowhere near done so it's all graffitied damn graffitiists is that the name for a graffiti artist? A graffitiist? Don't know, but oh, I ha I've missed the, uh, have missed the dings. Let's clean this light up. Uh, have we got to go prone to get underneath? Yes, we do. <laughs> Who'd have thought you'd be going prone in a power wash simulator? There you go. Just cane the top. Uh, you can press tab. So if you press tab, that shows the dirty areas. Uh, I usually don't use that because it used to show up in, you get like a little time lapse when you complete this. Uh, let's hope that they've got rid of that. So there's a little bit there. There's a load up there. I think it's, uh, I think that's rust up there. Right, so you can see the bar on the top left, right body. That's how clean it is. Uh, so there's still quite a lot left, apparently. I don't know where, where that is exactly. Because there's really not a lot when you tab it. Maybe this corner. Come on, game. <laughs> was it under the door? No, there's still so much. That was the, the major difference if you watch my lawn mowing simulator video. That game was very forgiving. This game, complete opposite. Right, indicate done. We've got to go prone to get underneath. Oh, there's an exhaust under it. That's going to be rusty, isn't it? Are we really power hosing an exhaust? <laughs> I'm I'm one of those people that doesn't really clean my car. It's, it's a heap of crap anyway, but um, I don't really get the point of clean cars. I, I, I guess if you've got a nice car, but like my graphics card costs more than my car. <laughs> so I would never power hose it. Especially I'd never power hose the bloody exhaust. <laughs> That's a bit too far in my opinion. Like, you probably shouldn't shoot water up an exhaust, should you? Oh, well. It needs cleaning. It needs cleaning. Oh, there you go. The old soap under there did help quite a lot, actually. Oh, this bumper's got a damn lip in it. Why do you do this game? This game is very good at making awkward objects for you to clean. 
Alright, let's soak this bumper now. Oh, you can see it's all rusty underneath as well. Nice bumper done. Let's do this edge from the prone position. Right, I hope that's getting the rust off. It doesn't seem to be getting all the dirt off. If I like go back, if I give it some white now, has that dust gone? Dust? Has that rust gone? <laughs> You'd hope the dust is gone. I don't... Uh, look, it's like all... No, that didn't work at all. Oh, because I need to refill. I ran out. Yes, that does nothing. So refill, uh, and now shiny as anything. Bloody graffiti on the tires. This one turned into a flower. Damn hippies. <laughs> oh, the tires have been quite generous to me this time. Usually they're a bit of a pain. If you've watched any of my last videos, I hate tires. Yeah, but that was before they added prone. I'm quite a fan of this, actually. All right, I'm going to guess there's a bit of an exhaust. Yeah, there. Can you see that? Sneaky bit of exhaust. What if we get some soap in there? There you go. Lovely. <laughs> the soap is quite useful at times. I'll give it that. All right, let's clean the back of this thing. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Getting back into the swing of it now. This uh, this RV is very, like, Breaking Bad episode one RV. <laughs> I love that episode. Such a good episode. Just him stood in his underpants. <laughs> we might have to go We might have to go up. Really? Why can't I use the ladder? I literally can't use the ladder. That's right. I can, <laughs> I can Assassin's Creed my way up there. Can you see down there? Just the top. The tops of all the steps. Under there. Under there. I just do a little spurt now. Like, there you go. The system works. All right. We've got to do the top of that tire without falling off. Come on. Don't fall off. Don't fall off. All right. And now we'll do the roof. Actually, I'm going to I'm gonna do a bit of... I'm going to try the green on the roof. I feel like with the long arm and the green, I can probably look down. So green is weaker than yellow, but stronger than white. So basically the widths change. So the wider your your hose, the less powerful it is. All right, along this edge. See, this is satisfying. This You can't get better than this. It shouldn't work this well in reverse. It definitely doesn't in real life. But uh, just seeing that dirt go, just leaving the shine behind, beautiful. All right, we'll just clean this middle bit. Nice. Alright, so the roof is nearly done. It seems there's just stub and rust left. So I think we'll give it a little plop, 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 plop. There's a bit at the back here. Here you go. Ready, last bit. Oh, oh there's some at the front corner. All right, ready? It's going to go ding. Yes. Uh, this edge, very rusty. So I'll try and clean that off with this. But I imagine I can't get it all because I have to go down and get the other angle. Can you see there's a bloody lip on there? Hopefully there's no rust in there. I will use the yellow. Nice. Right. Now just these white things. What are they called? Oh, they're vents. So we've got to be very careful not to shoot water down the vent. Because we don't want to get water inside the RV. Suckers! Oh, look. Someone's drawn a boob on the side. A double nippled boob. Get rid of all that. And just this side. There's an eyeball. Goodbye. Now right, that looks clean to me, but I assume I'm going to have to go prone. Yeah. Cause can you see up there? Cheeky game. Right, a little bit on this side. And that little smidge there. Dirt streaks and sand. Boosh. All right, I think we've done everything from above. We should probably do the top of these angles. Because as with everything on this vehicle, there's bloody lips everywhere that we can't see from below. Like the top of the mirrors. I think I've got to get the top of this mirror, haven't I? Yeah, look. Sneaky. All right, now we'll jump down. 360. Oh, God, there's still so much to do. <laughs> I thought I was, like, done. I've still got, like... Half of it, basically. I think we'll do this side first. It's in the shade. I was getting a bit hot. I uh, just remembered you can right click. So that will save my fingers. I'm pretty sure I did like... I did like several episodes before I found that initially. But yeah, trusty yellow is getting through this like anything. The upshot of all this is we want you to have the RV. Ah, oh, sweet. They're giving me the RV. We can't just have a sitting idol. She's born for the open road. Well, I'm, I'm a power washer. I'm not much of an open road... Uh... So is that really the best thing for this? And you're not getting out of paying me. You need to pay me. Here you go. Maybe you can take your job to other countries. Wow. There you go. There's the sequel confirmed. Power washing world tour. <laughs> I would actually play the hell out of that. All right. Come on, tires. You know the drill. Be kind. Be kind, please. Nice. Nice. I'm, I did. I didn't do the best job on there, actually. Oh, there's a few streaks. What? Have, I've let myself down. Get that graffiti off the tyres. Tyre done. Is that hubcap done? Yep. That one's done. I just got to do this tyre. Sweet. They have been very kind to me today. All right. A load of dirt up there. Oh, it's like it's rust. I'm pretty sure it's rust. It's very grimy, whatever it is. Yeah, sod it. I think it's rust. So let's try this. Oh, look. Tab. I did a terrible job. 
so bad. Oh my goodness. That looks like so clean to me, but then you press tab, it's like, oh, so bad. It's all in these crevices as well. Can you see all that dirt down there? Oh, there's loads at the front. I should probably just do that first. All around this mirror. All right, time to get the old soapy wopy out. Yes, the side is done. Just the front to do. I've to, I'm gonna I'm gonna give the old white a go on this, and then just come back with the cleaner. Cause look how quick that is. Speed running. Just make sure we can get up and in every angle. All right, nice. I'll do I'll do yellow on the windows. Just because our cleaner's made from metal, not glass. Oh, come on! Look how close it is! I'm pressing tap. I literally don't see any grime on that window. Unless it's that. Oh, it was that. Bollocks. Right, now it's time to get soapy. Ready? I'm going to try and do this in one canister. Well, because that's what i got left. I'm sort of running out, and we haven't even done the grill yet. Come on, grill. Oh, man, this is so angly. Come on, grill. Oh, there she is. There she I was getting worried then. Right, I think this should do the bumper, and that should finish the entire thing. Should being the key word. There's not a lot left. I can see a little bit of grime there. Oh, under there. There she goes. Oh, still on 99%. Oh, there you go. These lights. These lights. Can you see them? They're very rusty. Oh, we can just run up the bonnet. <laughs> cool. Nice. We're literally just somehow walking up front of this RV. Maybe we've got Spider-Man feet. Right, I'm pretty sure it's just these wipers to go. Because they are rusty. Oh no, last bit. 0.1 litres. Oh, we did them both. <laughs> you. All right, pressing tab. Oh, there's a little bit. Yeah, it's all around here. Is that the last? Oh, it's not the last. This window. Oh, it's all the windows. Yeah, if you look at that back one and this one here, you can see there, there. This back one, it's all the lips. There we go. Anything else? <laughs> what about these windows? No, these windows are all done. Oh, what's this? What's it? This wing mirror, same thing on this side. All right, last bit of soap. Oh, we're out of metal cleaner. All right, we're on the hardcore power hose. Or power washer. I realized power hose is very British of me. So sorry, international people. Look at this dirty hubcap. Die! Around the tire. I missed this wheel completely. Oh, look, we got a to-do list. Are they the last three things? So we've got a window to do somewhere. I'm guessing, is it out the back? Is there a window there? Yep. So this window wasn't completed. Now it is. A uh, rear body. I think that's because of that corner. Oh wow, it's all it's all everywhere. I just did I just did a really bad job back here. Right, I'm still on the rear tire, but it's all a bit close. So what I'm gonna do is swap the long extension for the stubby extension. Here we go. I'm so close to this brake light. But it's clean, it's clean. The annoying thing is it's all rusty, but I got no rust paint left. I got no rust cleaner left. I got no metal cleaner left. Alright, just this brake light to do. I somehow went prone that. Right, as I fall off, can I get it done? Come on. Yes, job complete. Oh, that was a ball ache and a half. <laughs> I honestly thought this would be a nice little quick job, but uh, how long have we been recording for? 45 minutes. Great. Cheers, game. All right, let's watch the time lapse then. Oh, yes. Oh, that's a good time lapse. Well, it was until that point, because then I went around the back. Uh, oh, it's a really long time lapse now. It shows loads of stuff. Oh, decent. Thank goodness that is done. <laughs> I mean, no, I really enjoyed that. That was great. Absolutely great. Oh, no. Oh, no. Now we've got the tree. I have a feeling this is going to be worse than the bloody fire station. Uh, so this might be a... I can't be asked to finish this sort of level. We'll have to see how painful it is. Let's, let's have a little read of this. Let's see what the story is. So it turns out the guy who built this is searching for the missing link. I think, aka, like, Bigfoot. Uh, problem is, while I'm out looking for them... Pranksters come all the way out here, hollering unearthly noises and chucking stinky mud around. You sure that's mud, mate? I do not get paid enough to do this. Well, I guess I do. 1,500 quid. To clean poo off of a treehouse. It's not too bad, is it? Holy... Are you kidding me? How big is this? Oh, <laughs> oh no. Oh, no. Look, they're all bloody wooden slats. Oh, I don't want to. <laughs> Oh, look, we can finally read the sign. I've been trying to read this sign on all the other levels. Lost cat, very furry. Please call them. Oh, that's the mayor's cat. I understand. Oh, wow, look at that waterfall. That's pretty nice, isn't it? To be fair, he's, he's done all right here. Although, that is the shape. We've got a nut, another nut, and a shaft, and a bell. That's not just me. That can't be just me. Everyone else saw that, right? Right? Uh, no photos! No photos! Okay, so we've got a lot of scaffolding. Presumably to get to those bits under there. I'm going to reattach the long arm, I think. 
think that will come in handy. Uh, where do I even start with this? It's like the whole underside. Oh, <laughs> I don't want to. Well, sod it. I'm going to start with the underside. Oh, welcome to the next few hours of your life, Matt. Okay, that's pretty much the whole underside done. Uh, it, lo it looks pretty good, actually. Fair play. I completely forgot to talk, I think, during the whole of that. I, uh... <laughs> yeah, that does happen with this game sometimes. You get sort of in the zone. Yeah, I did these little, this little, did this little obstacle course as well. We'll have a little go. Oh, I fell off. <laughs> that was a fail. No, I still got this tire to do. Another bloody tire. Bane of my life. Damn tires. No, we got to do the rope as well, really. <laughs> I think we got to go prone. Yeah, got to get the undersides. Oh, come on, Ty. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Oh, I'm going to say the roof was actually quite easy, to be fair. Uh, it just took a while. It was just a lot of stripes. I, I didn't end up using the scaffolding. I'm going to have to do it for these edges, though. Like, on the higher ones. But it is what it is. But you can see the dirt does actually come off pretty easy. Look at the railings. Oh, this is going to be the end of me. I can tell. I think that's the worst thing, like, all the different angles on these slats. It's not just front and back. It's the bloody sides as well. And, like, for this one, it's okay because I'm on the ground. But, yeah, trying to do these high up ones, I'm going I'm to have to use a scaffolding. And I'd, I'm not a fan of scaffolding. I'm really not. Yeah, oh, look, we got signs. What do these say? No visitors. Oh, how about this one? Warning. Private property. Stay out. Keep away. Okay. Is this Shrek's house? <laughs> Does Shrek live in a tree house? Of course, you gotta do the back of the signs. The most important part of any sign. Go in prone to do a sign. I do love that you can go prone now. It's quite satisfying for some reason. It's definitely a key strategy I use when I power hose in real life as well. Always go prone. You don't want the dirt to see you coming. Oh, we got this as an edge down here as well. Game. All right, let's rotate. I think we'll just sidestep along the entire thing. Do you want this time lapse? I'm going to give it to you as a time lapse because I'm nice like that. I wish I could time lapse the gameplay though. In the nicest possible way. I, d I do enjoy playing this game, but some jobs are too big. Yes, <laughs> I did it. Okay, that, that was pretty, pretty satisfying to be fair. Oh, I haven't even gone upstairs. I don't, what is it? What's even up here? Got a barbecue, a bench, bloody, what is that? There's a house up here. That house was like the entire level at the start of this game. Oh no, it's huge. It's absolutely huge. That is not what she said. Oh look, footprints. Are they the Bigfoot prints? Bigfoot footprints? <laughs> Where do they go? Into there or onto the roof? We got a spiral staircase as well. I feel like I'm being really like procrastinating with this. I'm just like walking around looking at stuff when I should just be cleaning. Got to focus on the job at hand. Oh, look how shiny. Look how shiny that light thing is. And I think we'll leave that there for today, guys. The video is long enough and my wrist has just about seized up. Giggity. So peace, love and power hoses. And I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.